things I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits We're good? Okay, let me just finish preparing here Oh, we are live! Welcome to Breaking the Cycle episode number... 28. Why do you never sound so sure about what episode we're on? It's it's Back like a up. mystery. You're here. You're here. Well, just that's it. All right, no. the show. Breaking the Cycle is a live show on how to be a positive role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so I become so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. Wait a minute, what happened? Hold on, what happened in that beginning part? You used to say positive male role model, and now you don't say that anymore. There's just an arrow there. So you just stopped? You just, just, how does the hands taste? Some salt and pepper for that shit? No. You're just assuming my gender, or you're no. unassuming my gender? No, there's just an arrow there. It's just like an arrow. No, exactly. Okay, perfect. Let's keep rolling. These are types. Of, these are the types of conversations you should you should be having with your kids, so so they can learn to think for themselves and are are not afraid to speak for themselves. So when they're confronted with these life situations, they will not be in shock and have an idea on how to approach it. I tried to memorize that. Good one. Good one. All right. So what episode is this? Because every time it's you say episode number, number twenty nine. Oh, no, twenty eight. You just said. No, last time we did 28. No, last time we Quickly post seven. down into the comments what episode. You think they're no, we don't even, we don't even fucking know. <laughs> they How may remember. Know? Let me see. Okay. Down. All right, so we got lots of stuff wait, wait, to go on. over here today. What? Uh, Just a quick question. Do you have your Instagram thing? Instagram comment? You? For this week? My Instagram? Well, in, I couldn't pull up those screenshots. Can't be pulled up because we're on there still and we didn't. Solve that shit. Who wants a starting but I'm gonna tell you about. I'm gonna tell you about one of them. I just don't have who it's by. Who wants a starting joke? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, and it's a good one. It's about you two, actually. Very offensive. So we'll get to that. Oh, I know this one. I think uh, a starting joke. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Oh no. Never mind. It's too cheesy. Where's the joke? How am I supposed to figure that out? That was the joke. But I'm supposed to, supposed to be a joke that no, like a, a thing I have to know, figure out. I know, but that was just supposed to be like. And that was very freaking cheesy, actually. Literally cheesy. That was that was like. Oh my god, that depressing. was depressing. That was hard. That was just the bottom of the barrel. All right, so we got all kinds of stuff to go over today. Starting off, let's let's start off with our upcoming. What do we have upcoming? In the oh, can you sit back there? Like we have in ten days from now, we have the twenty-four hour PFT coming up. Okay, what's 24 hour PFT? The 24 hour PFT is the ch it's a fundraiser for Save Our Allies. And I'll talk about more about that later. So the a PFT is one mile run, 100 push ups, 100 squat thrusts, and 100 crawl outs. And we're seeing how many rounds we can do that in a 24 hour time block. I know that the joke that I said wasn't really something that you could figure out, so I'm going to have a better one. Right now? Yeah. I don't know if I can handle the two for one deal. What do you got? What, what do you got? Why Why did the actor break his leg during the movie? So good luck. So there's some, some told him to have to break a leg. Oh, yeah. Because someone told him to break a leg. Yeah. So I good got luck. Because that's what they consider good luck. Good luck. So it means break, go break, uh, break a leg. It means good luck. Why? How is that good idea. luck? So I got it right? Yeah. And I got it right immediately. That's a two pointer. No, it's, no, it's 1.5. Remember, it's 1.5. Right, so 1.5 out of, out of one. Yes. So I'm ahead of the game. So 1.5 out of one on me figuring out your lame ass joke. I have one on here. So the yes. 24 hour PFT. Let's go back to that. Yes. I can't handle yes. more than two jokes at per five minute mm -hmm. time period. So 24 hour fitness session. 
What's your goal? How many how many times are you gonna make it only through at, in 24 hours? Only at 15. Okay. 15 times through. So you're gonna run 15 miles and do 1,500 push-ups and do 1,500 squat thrusts and do 1,500 crawls within 24 hours. Yeah, and the squat thrusts and crawl outs are squatting down. So that's like 3,000 squats too. Very well, no. How are you gonna get up and down from the push-up? Oh, that's two squats. Cause I'm just gonna stay on my knees. I'm not gonna get all the way up. Like, oh, right. It's a waste of energy. So. Plus two oh, yeah, squats. Stay down there. You're going to so knees. two squats every Imagine time. you got up every time after every set of push-ups. How are you gonna break down your push-ups? Probably fives. Probably fives or get, eights. I wanna get at least eight through ten. Are you right there? Yeah. Is that your wiggle band? Eight or ten. Eight or ten? Yeah. That'd be good. Eight through ten. So you're gonna do eight miles. 800. 800 push ups. You didn't. And 800 squat thrusts and 800 crawls. Shit. Hell yeah. You can do that. That would be freaking. If you do that, that'll be awesome. How did you get on the push ups? I got technically 999 because I finished my last. So push -up. think about. I finished my 1000 push up after the last second. At the, at the bell. At the freaking bell. So think about that math though. What, that was like two years ago now, probably a year and a half ago, the push ups, right? I mean, a while ago now. It was it it was in March the I think it yeah. was I think it was what when, your foot doing up on March? the counter where oh, uh, the computer yeah. is. Right. I think it was when Corona hit. Yeah. I think it was when Corona hit. So in a couple of years. I so you did 999 of only push-ups. So this time you're saying you're going to do 800 push-ups plus 800 squat plus 800 crawls and eight miles in the same amount of time you did 999 push-ups. Yeah? Holy shit. I want to see it. That'll, okay. be, a, that'll be an improvement because you've been training hard the last two years, right? You've been preparing. Why are you smirking? <laughs> I'm not convinced with that. Okay, but... So, what if... The, what the I'll, first, uh, my yeah, goal is here. to get... You literally have like a speck of glitter. What? Yeah, I just saw it again. I told you I'm assuming my gender. I literally, I literally saw glitter. So you know why I said eight through ten because my goal is to get at least eight, and if I still have, if I think I still have enough time to do another one, I'll do the nine, and if I still have more time, I'll do the ten. You do ten, I'll give you a dollar. Yeah. A dollar. A whopping dollar. You still owe me fifty cents for those eggs. But it's got to be legit rounds. Yeah. Not like some bullshit oh, worming and on the ground push-ups. 100 push-ups, push not 50. 100. Because you said you were doing 50. No. I said when I practice, I do 50. On the real thing, you were going to do hundreds? Eight. What the hell is that? No, I'll see no. if you make up some number. No, 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 no. All right. Real rounds, 10 bucks per round. You get 10 bucks per round. Is this the same deal for me? I'll see. Do, do I'm to hurry now. What's this got to do with you? I don't know. Hey, some money too. Are you counting around like a full PFD? Is All four right? exercises, yeah. So the mile, 100, 100, 100. That's a okay. But it's got to be real. Yes. 100 of each. And push ups. Can I get 10 dollars? Like real. Our push ups. We're talking right here. I'm here too. Our push ups. So we're doing this. We've been training our asses off. Right? We train our asses off every day. When's a. We haven't taken a day off in, I don't even know, a year and a half now. I don't, or I, haven't, I don't even know how long it's been since I took a day off. And we definitely haven't taken at least a year and a half of an actual day off. We're talking about training full workouts every freaking day. So that is coming up in 10 days. And it's going to freaking suck. We have a bunch of people coming over here, friends and family. None of you internet fucking weirdos that we don't know are coming over. But we are doing going to be streaming this live 24 hours the entire time on Zoom. And then check-ins on Facebook and Instagram live and all that stuff. But I think the Zoom, we're going to keep it rolling for the entire 24 hours. We're going to see how it goes. And so you could join along from anywhere in the world. You can get your own group together doing it. You could challenge yourself. How many can you how rounds can you get? And yeah, it sounds crazy, but this is what it's all about. Doing hard shit. And on top of that, not only is it going to be a chance for us to just hang out and push ourselves and suffer together and have fun, connect with other people, but it's also for a charity, for a fundraiser, for Save Our Allies. And I'll put the link down there about Save Our Allies. I'll also put the link to the challenge itself where you can go and donate and you can become a part of the 24-hour challenge. That's the main thing we've been focusing on lately coming up. What else has been going on in the last week or two? I think we didn't do the show last week, right? No, so last, last week we did not. So last couple weeks, what else has been going on? 
Lost. Nothing. End the show. Great. We'll see you guys no, next time. No, no, no. I'm thinking. What? We've been training every day. I don't know. You had your, you had your, did you, you had your, you told me you wanted, we already talked about. Oh, yeah. In the last few weeks, the escape room. You told me you were going to escape room. You told me you were going to end of a different challenge that you did and your reward for the end of a different challenge that you got and all this other stuff. Oh, yeah. And now it comes time for showtime and we crumble under the pressure. No, we forget our whole know, plan. Just because Bring there's no, down. we don't have a teleprompter. Are you like, no? Bidden? Are you like bidden who can't speak Mommy unless you get a teleprompter? Or the dude from that what was the movie? Anchorman. Anchorman. Got it. Where they put the the teleprompter and he only can function on the teleprompter. He, he said, "F you, San Diego." Or F you, Las Vegas. Or no, San Diego. San Diego. And because you just read exactly what was on the prompter, and then you realize that you got in all kinds of trouble. Is that what you guys like? You guys like Anchorman? Yeah, Anchorman was a good movie. Where would you be doing? You watched Anchorman? Yes. How could you watch Anchorman? That is not for children. Yeah, we're not normal children. That's for damn sure. <laughs> that is for damn sure. Yeah, but Tyson, we should go get the All right. We should go get the Maybe. prize. I don't know. So, we did the escape room a few weeks ago. And an escape room is like a room that you have to escape out of. I'm pretty sure they know what an escape room is. Yeah, it's a room that you have to escape out of. <laughs> So an escape room is a room you have to escape out. Did you know, did you know, this is going to be mind-blowing, the shit I'm about to tell you right now. A swimming pool is, listen to this, get this, is a pool that you go swimming in. It's, it's, that's some groundbreaking shit right there. Look at that, you're like mind-blowing. That's called an edumacation. This is edumacation. Wow. Exactly. An escape room is in a room that you escape. <laughs> that is just the same as a swimming pool. All right, so what about the escape room? So we went to a, a real escape room. Yeah, called the Panic Room, which is what our... It, it's, a pa- it's a place that has three different escape rooms, but we did the hardest one. Yes. And that was part, and of, the your, that was part of your homeschooling. Yeah, it home was. Home We life. took you to a real escape room to do that. Like, what a great way to, to just read stuff, figure stuff out. There was math involved in there we had to do and finding clues, like actual real world skills that you're using and then would you once we went to that what'd you guys do here oh we created our own escape room us two yeah but before we move on since we were kind of on the anchorman topic i wanted to say something we're on the anchorman topic yeah i know it was the topic of the show anchorman (laughs) yeah but so a few days ago i was on mommy's phone and i saw an app that said teleprompter what does she need a teleprompter for to talk about like the goops and all that other stuff. She has to talk about the goops and the shoes that she buys and, and, she, the, and the I, vacations that she's and planning I, and, and I know, all this other and stuff. And I know why she needs to use a teleprompter for it because she can't remember all the shoes she has. Oh, and probably remember her schedule if they get the hair and the nails and the toes and the armpits done and all that. All that stuff. You need a teleprompter to keep track of all that shit. Remind yourself about it. I've seen her reading off teleprompter like the goops. Just talk about the goops on her videos. Because you can't, how could you possibly remember? All those different goops that she puts on the hair and the nails and the, you know, the crusty toes and all that other stuff. You need a teleprompter for that shit. Yep. So then they built an escape room. Tell me, tell, tell me about break down the escape room. I don't even know how you did have that stuff. It was it was pretty good. I, I, totally I was did pretty. Not I was copy good at it from a YouTube video. You did all of it. No, some of the, some of the things that came up like the Holy Grail. Grail. Yeah, Holy Grail. That was a, it. Was well, a, I was pretty good at figuring some of that stuff out. I skipped a couple of steps because I figured them out ahead of time. Yeah, like remembering a, stuff. There was a bike lock on something and he got the three digits but there was these two things these two pieces of paper that one of the one of the pieces of the paper had half there was is the word said the last number you seek is whatever it was one i think and it was like half of the letters like half of the letter and every word and then the other piece of paper and the, the other half. It's like you superimpose it over the top. Yes. And put it up to the light, right? Then I yeah. put it up to the light right away and I got it all like. Oh, something. no. That was the letter. The letter that started off with. It was a letter that took us like two hours to work on. So we created a letter and then we switched around the words backwards. So you'd have to yeah. like and, and twist what? it around or look at a mirror or something to read it. And you put, brought it up to the light right away and read it out. But how did I read that just up to the light? It was backwards. No, you twisted the paper around and put, brought it up to the light. Oh, upside, yeah, because I saw yeah. through the paper. Yeah, I figured that out in like two seconds. Yeah, but when, it took us so long to figure it out. And once we did it, we were like, yay! 
Yeah, the... Yeah, you guys were doing your secret little missions where you were like hiding in the house and setting all this crap up. But we escaped it. We figured it out somehow. Yeah, there there were like eight or nine different combinations we had to figure out. There were locks. Like there was shit locked up in boxes and locks and safes all over this damn office. And I think I still find shit laying around that you didn't clean up from it still, but that's beside the point. Mm-hmm. I don't know, little stickers here and there. Do not open this box. Do not <laughs> touch this. X, X, X. Yeah, there's a cardboard safe involved. There was calendar involved. There's a, It took you 48 minutes. And so this kind of shit that we're doing in home, home lifing, homeschooling, this is their education, creating shit like that. And he did, yesterday I did a story of him. I, I turn around, he's got a a baseball cap on backwards, covering his eyes, taking apart an AR-15, putting it back together, blindfolded, while this one I can see right out the window, this one is doing some shit out in the yard for your own work. What were you working on in the yard? We are planting seeds in our newly made garden. What's in the garden? There, we have a bunch of fruits that's not in the fenced off garden, but that's going to be our vegetable garden. On the inside of the fence, we have lettuce, radish, Turnips, green beans, not green, yeah, there's spinach, yeah, cucumbers, spinach. cucumbers, we're still ha- So are you telling me all that shit's going to grow out there? Yes. In that yard? But how long is it going to take? I'd have to check the seed packets. About. Average. When am I going to see a full tomato out there? Yeah, we planted some tomatoes. I don't, I don't know. Probably because, six months, seven months. No. Because in Walking Dead, Walking Dead, if you haven't watched that, that is a great lesson taker. It's a great education. You know, there was a cartoon someone put on Instagram. I wish I could, we need a separate thing that I could pull up. We need another Why didn't you say the real thing? You said frick. Whatever. <laughs> it was this cartoon, this kid's show, like some famous kid's show. Mm-hmm. And someone, that, that one character says to the other, Oh, can you, where is he or something? And the character said, Oh, don't, please don't call them that because that's not the, their pronouns that they prefer and this and that. And they went to all this said, I am, not, I am bipolar or whatever the word is, bi, bi, bi binary or something. No, non binary. Whatever it is, bipolar, I don't know, whatever the hell it's bipolar. called. Bipolar. <laughs> something like that. Polar bear. It was crazy. And a cartoon for yeah. little children. Yeah, and then there's another one of a That's show, it. a kid's birthday party. Kid's birthday party with the kids around. And like the main kid who's party is sitting in the chair like if Bozo the Clown was going to come out and do a magic show, you know, that would be like there would be the center of attention. Except it was, I don't know what they're called, a man like that dresses as a woman that does like oh, this yeah, show for like show. adults usually, like a very yeah. adult show, a drag queen yeah. or something. I don't even What's know what they're called now. I don't even know if that's what they call them nowadays. Who knows? Yeah, that might be offensive, but who knows? Can't say it. A drag. It out. So they're doing this like adult type show for this kid, and the kid is just sitting there, and all there's like 30, 40 adults around, like laughing and cheering and clapping. So, like, that was this kid's birthday party. Imagine it was a birthday party. That yeah, was it where though? I've seen several of them, both. But Wait. you know why they do they want to because you have freedom. Okay, you have freedom to live however you want to live. There's no problem with that. But they want to like outdo each other about who can be more free and more like open to that kind of stuff. So they do that, like those kind of parties for their kids. It's like a little six-year-old girl or something. Like we're talking oh. a kid, five-year-old girl, six-year-old girl, seven-year-old girl. I don't know how we got onto that. Bi- bipolar, bipolar, binary. What is it? Sad. What we were it? talking about Walking Dead and you just brought that up. No, we were talking about something about Walking Dead. We were talking about... Tomatoes about Walking Dead, and then you brought up because you something you said must have made me brought something connected it connected the dots. For the, it's a great show if you haven't watched it. Oh, because you're talking about a, a t- great show. Now, so this is a that is a better Walking Dead. Literally, is a better show than this show because this show is just off the wall. Anyway, so yeah, going a lot from Walking Dead. How long? When am I going to see some tomatoes out there? No, in Walking Dead. Let me say this. Right, so on, I'm so not going to spoil right. anything. I'm just going to say. It's season nine, they're just growing some crops, okay? They're just growing some tomatoes. And then in between seasons, it's like, what, six months maybe? And there was one ripe tomato. So you're going to have a tomato probably around seven months, eight months. No. Longer or shorter? Sure. But one time you were telling me some other... Yeah, an apple tree is going to be like... What's, when am I going to get oranges on that tree? 
you know, you know that. Just answer the question. I don't really know. About. So you know that gate in the backyard? You know the gate, like, right in the This sounds like a long answer. The <laughs> orange <laughs> trees. When am I going to have a juicy orange to sink my freaking claws into? How long about? Give me an answer. The time that it takes it to get the uh, to get to the size that the orange trees in the back. Okay, that sound that sounds like a very like politics answer. Just Poli- to say, you, like I don't know about a range. Two to three months. Two to three months. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> two to three years. Two to three years. I might be dead by then. The I, zombies will be ta- the that. zombies will have taken over by then. The apocalypse will have happened. We're we gonna live off of the, 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 the parsley. Or the, what is the other one? Turnips. 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 Whatever the hell it's called. Two you guys years. haven't watched Walking Dead yet. Watch it. Great Two three lessons. years for me to get a freaking orange. And but in Walking Dead, did you see their garden? Their garden was like because that stuff is. Fake. <laughs> but it's still, fake. still, and they you're comparing me to a fake, like nonsense I think garden. It's a non-binary. That I bet was in. Uh, that I bet was in a movie recording studio. Not even outside in nature. But did you see that farm down the street? The fresh fruit. That place is amazing. That place all of a sudden. They must have been steroids and that shit. It was like an empty field. All of a sudden, the next day, it's like. Stop shit for sale. Like, what the hell did they do there? I know. There's strawberries. Can you buy an orange avocados? tree? Can you buy an orange tree and plant it in our yard that will give us oranges sooner? Yes, but it's going to be around. There's the but. Are you? Are you uh, final question. Final question on the topic. Are you related to our president? Because you answer questions very similarly. Beating around the bush and... Oh, yeah, they will, but this and that, and uh, maybe not. And... No, Wait, no. can we get another joke? Can I say another joke? No, the only thing is, is that we're going to, for one tree, that it might take still a few weeks to produce fruit. Like maybe That's a lot two, better than two or three no, years. A, a plant that will take maybe a few weeks to a few months to start producing fruit for us will be about 300, 400. I don't. If that, you want to get it from that's a good time, plant. it's if worth. If you want to get it for from a good plant nursery that won't have any viruses. In it. Now we got coronas. In, oh, coronas in there. Can we get viruses. The, the, the while we're talking about can, while if, we're if the tree has a, a a virus, can we give it a vaccine and cure it? Because I hear those things cure everything. Yeah, you just gotta get like two of the regular thing, four boosters, and four extra boosters. Can the tree get a booster okay. shot? If I give that tree a booster shot, will it give me safer, cleaner oranges? So 300 or 400 bucks is worth it to save that time. You're buying time back before I die, before the zombies take over because I don't have a freaking orange. Well, you're going to well, you're gonna need to spend some time and buy the time that tell you make me, that money. You're tell me it. something about gardening that's going to sound like a foreign language. Like something that I'm not going to understand what the frick you're talking about. She said something about chicken and I don't know what that was. She said something. Like you said something about a fence or something like that. I was like, are you speaking Russian again? I told you about speaking, oh, not speaking nice. Russian. When I'm around, you speak English. You don't speak Russian. What is it? Uh, um, we're going to plant stuff on the fence that can go on a trellis. Huh? <laughs> but those, how, did this, they, how did this turn in? I think it started from a skateboard and it turned into I think you said it's gonna grow on a fence. Yeah, a trellis. It's But you said a fence. Sounds like a fence to me. A trellis is a fence. Then why'd you say fence? I know. You say it's gonna grow on a fence for a trellis. I'm confused. It's gonna go on a fence for a trellis. Is trellis like a French word for fence? No! Are you French now? No. What's a trellis? A trellis it's it's like a fence, but it's meant for plants to grow on. They're gonna grow on the fence. Yeah, grapes. Yeah. I saw yeah, a video of some like no, no, no. He's like so, wrapping the vines around it. Yeah, so the fence is gonna act. It's gonna imitate a trellis. A trellis is something that's kind of like a fence, but it's meant for. So uh, I got it. So the fence does not. What's the word? Associate? Yeah. It's not. Associate. 
identify as? I, the fence does not identify as a fence. It's identifying as a trellis. That's what you're telling me. No! That's pretty much what you're saying. I don't. It's I'm lost. Pretending to be a trellis. All right, this, you're nerding no, out too much for me. It. I'm lost. We're making it a trellis. How can you make it? What if it doesn't identify as a trellis? It's a fence. It doesn't identify it. You, and it, fences don't identify how do you as know? anything. How dare you they're, say you know? Are you they're God? Not, you're insulting someone. Are you God? You get to say what a fence that identifies as? Aren't a someone. They're something. You who says? I'm a something too. How do you know? You get? Are you God? You get to say what the fence is and has and thinks and identifies as? Wow, that what is. What if just, God doesn't uh, identify? That is outrageous. How do you know God identifies as God? I never said anything about God. Now all of a sudden you're some religious expert. Oh my God! You're you saying God? God. God. And I said a joke. Jesus. You should be going on the trellis. <laughs> I don't identify as a trellis. Sorry. You don't need to identify as a trellis to grow on a trellis. Oh, I'm a trellis. All, All right. right. I need a break. From my my head is spinning. Oh. Okay. Then I guess we'll get a joke. Jesus. Tyson, what can you what? Okay. You got the mic. He's there. Whatever you keep going. Let me come okay. over here and just check on the. What Instagram. can you serve? Hello. I never eat. I'm gonna think while I'm checking out. The what can you serve? But never eat. That makes so much sense. You gotta say it louder. What, what can you serve but never eat? What can you serve but never oh, eat? Oh, time. A tennis ball. Am I right? I got that right away. That's another point and a half, sucker. You better keep, keep the point. All right, go on. Yes, you have. What is that topic? I just checked. You have three you out of two. You have three points out of two questions. Listen, no, it's. Yes. Oh my gosh, you're way ahead of the game. Super important note back here. Three out of two. Wow. Three. Because I made that joke. Huh? No. You can't even answer it. You saw that my feet were there. So you basically, there's a bunch of things that you had to do for a certain amount of days in a row. You couldn't miss any of the tasks, like 10 or 15 different things you had to do every day for like almost 30 days. 20. And then you got a reward. What was the reward you got? I I that, guess it's together you got a reward. We won't talk about the in incidents that we got. So what did, what did you guys get? <laughs> I'll <see> mine. <laughs> Freaking dragon. Dargan! Bad Dargan! Take ownership Dargan. for actions that weren't yours. That so were. So, what did you get? We. Ooh. Ooh. So, so it's, it's punishment. <laughs> so, it's partially mine now. Yay! It's mine! Crash this microphone down. Is it, is it on? Yeah. Is it working? Okay. I think it was crap. We on, got a banana pie ball python. Banana pie bubble. Or <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. Yeah. yeah. A banana pie ball python, it's just what a snake. It what does it eat? It eats little mice slash rats, or it's gonna eat rats. So you're feeding it mice? Where do you get mice from? You just find them around your room? You ride at your room? It's kind of like a zoo nowadays. You can probably find just loose mice hanging around. No, you, I buy, it, you buy them from the store, they come in a little box, and you pull them out of the bag. And then it's you cut it open, you put it in cold water first, and you take it out you and cut, cut the mouse open? No, you put it in warm water, and then you can feed it. 
I understand that's how the world works and like the life and all this and you eat whatever, but it just sounds so nasty. We caught it the last time. We haven't seen it actually eat. We caught it the last time. We saw just like the legs and the tail sticking out and you're just finishing. It was like just finishing his meal. It's freaking crazy. Yeah, but he should yeah, if you guys if you guys have if you guys have snakes that don't want to be eating, I have a little tip to help you guys with that. So if if you guys have like a frog or a toad or something you can rub the snake's food on that so it gets a little bit of the toad's or the frog's smell and they'll think it's a frog or a toad and then they'll want to eat it. So if the if if you if your snake isn't eating that might work. This is all just disturbing. Alright. Who wants another joke? Oh no. So I literally just did, did one. Did you only have two jokes when well, we're finishing up here? We no, only did two I jokes. Have another two. Well, we only did two today, right? Yes. And I got them we both immediately. So I have three points out of two jokes. I'm ahead of the game. I don't know if we'll get this one. Alright, let's hear it. What what always gets taken before you see it? A picture. No freaking way. I got it right away. It's a point and a half again. What? So I got four point five. What's trying to this dude today? I got 4.5 out of 3. I'm focused, what? man. I am focused. It's the cryotherapy. What is it's the cryo. It's, it shocks your brain. It stimulates yeah, your mind. Yeah, and, and it literally shocked your nerves. Yeah, boom. I know it made my hunger bigger than normal. Yeah, but it's... Oh, it's going down a little bit now. It's just yeah, it's just got a big nose. Little, or it went up. It's going down or went up. That's just pretty. All right. All right, we got, we got one more since we didn't get in the middle there. We got to get rolling here. All right. One more joke? Yeah. All right. To see if I could just go. If the go. alphabet goes from A to Z, what goes from Z to A? Zebra. What? 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 So I got six points out of four. I got all your jokes not only correct, but I got them immediate. So I got more than one point for each one. I mean, the rule is if I get the joke, if I get the joke immediately, I get one and a half points. If I get it within ten seconds, I get one point. If I need a hint, I get a half a point. If I get like ridiculous hints that almost give it away and still get it, I get a quarter of a point. I got a point and a half for all that before you even started the timer. That means we got some good jokes. Why can't I get credit for just being a smart dude? We got good jokes. You don't get the cameras like tilted. Yeah, you don't get any credit. We're tilted. We're tilted. All right, we gotta wrap this up. So this has been bringing the cycle episode number what? Twenty nine or twenty eight? Oh my god, twenty eight. We are not sh sure. Post it in the comments what you think it is or what you know it is. All right. Well, hey, I want to. Anything you want to finish off and tell them as we finish off? No. Excuses. Very, very, very normal show. The camera is where from. You are freaking awesome. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits